Hello everyone, my name is Marksy and today we're gonna do an eraser review. I will be testing out a Muji eraser and also a Jet Pens eraser sampler. It is temporarily out of stock now, but if you click the link in the description box, then click on the description tab and then it'll give you links for each individual eraser. I will be testing out these erasers using 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0.9 LUD. But that's enough, let's just get started. First up, we have a Muji eraser. This is the eraser I currently use. It is my favorite one right now. It's smooth and it does the job. Although sometimes I do notice that it doesn't erase lines if I write too hard. But as you can see, I really like this one. This bottom eraser is one that I've been using for a long time and I even started cutting off some of the sleeve part so that it doesn't get in the way of erasing. Let's start off with the 0.3. It did a wonderful job as expected. In the 0.5, it left some streaks and a little bit of lead. And in the 0.9, I was surprised because it left a lot of streak with a little bit of lead. Now, this isn't the best nor the worst, but I really like this because of how smooth it is. And it also doesn't leave a lot of that eraser dust. And once you give it another try, then it pretty much erases most of it. It is a little hard to see now because of the other side of the page, but I do put a page under so that you can see it a lot clearer. As you can see, it got rid of 0.3 and 0.5 easily, but there are still some left on the 0.9. Overall, this Muji eraser is great, but let's go on with the next one to see if there are even better ones. This next eraser is a Pentel black eraser. This one is supposed to leave less dust and is supposed to have a more cleaner feel than any other normal rubber eraser. So when I opened it up, it was a lot squishier than I thought it would be. This compared to the Muji one, which is already soft enough as well. So this would mean that it would feel a lot softer on the paper and maybe have less possibility of tearing. So when I erased the 0.3, it came out really clean, but the 0.5 and the 0.9 did not come out clean. It was streaky and it still left a lot of lead behind. So this was kind of a big disappointment. And it also says it's supposed to have less dusting, but I feel as though it takes the graphite and just smears it. So I don't think it did such a good job at having the least amount of dusting. And when I tried erasing everything on the 0.9, it had a lot of graphite even on the second chance. So I had to do it again in order to get rid of it all. And it still left some graphite there. And I would not recommend this eraser because compared to the Muji one, it wasn't that clean and there was still a lot of graphite left. This next one is a boxy eraser. It is also labeled to have less dusting, just like the other one. So hopefully it does not have the same results as the other one. When I opened this one up, it had this white dusting on it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come like that, but I just wanted to point it out. This one was also very squishy, but not as much as the last one. On the 0.3, it did so good. I mean, look at how clean those lines are, no streaking. And the same on the 0.5, it did so great. And on the 0.9, I think I audibly gasped because of how good it was and there were no streaks. And when you erase it all, it just left nothing. This one is my favorite one so far and compared this one to the last one and even the Muji one, it just left the paper clean and there weren't any streaks or graphite left behind. So overall, this one was my favorite one so far and I would totally recommend. Up next, we have this Kokoyo Campus Student 2B eraser. This eraser is meant to be for 2B to 4B pencil lead, but because it came in the package and I don't have any of that kind of lead, I still wanted to try it out. So as I was doing a squish test on this eraser, I remembered why I don't like white erasers. And this is because the graphite tends to stay on them and so it's kind of hard to clean and it just looks dirty so that's why I don't like them. But as we erase 0.3, it came out really clean 
and on the 0.5 it also came out really nice i wasn't surprised by this because it's meant for a lot darker leads but what i was surprised with was in the 0.9 it did not erase that well and it still kind of left some graphite behind so i was surprised by this because it is meant for darker leads but as you can see there is still some stain left so i had to come back and erase it again so this one wasn't great in terms of erasing i also don't like white erasers so it wasn't great for me this next one is a sakura foam eraser in w80 it is said to remove pencil markings with a light effortless touch and also the eraser shavings clump up together according to the description so when i tried to erase the 0.3 it did a good job on the 0.5 there was a little bit of graphite left but not too big of a problem and when I erased the 0.9, it left a little bit of streaks, but it didn't do that bad of a job. This is very similar to the campus eraser, as they're both white and they kind of erase the same. I know that in the description it says that the dusting is supposed to clamp up together, but this isn't even anything that I noticed while I was erasing, so it didn't really stand out to me. This is just an eraser that you could probably get at any store, so because of this and also it's white, didn't do that great at erasing, it isn't going to be my favorite or the best one out there. Next up, we have the Sakura Arch Foam Eraser in 60. This one is a fan favorite. A lot of people in this community know this one. The sleeve is what I really like about it because it has these indents so that you can rip it when the eraser becomes too short. And then when we erase the 0.3, it left out really clean lines. And also on the 0.5, it was really clean, really neat, and it left no streaks. Then on the 0.9, it did unfortunately leave some streaks and some graphite, but nothing too horrible. And then when we erased the entirety of 0.3 and 0.5, it was really clean and neat and no graphite left on the paper. But on the 0.9, there was still some left. I understand why this one is really popular. The only problem is that it is white, but after this test, I did search it up and there is a black version now. So I might have to get that one instead. Next up, we have this Tombow Mono Eraser in a size small. This one is really popular as well outside and within the stationary community. It is used by everyone and as so since it was introduced in 1969. As I was erasing 0.3, it came out really clean, and on the 0.5, I was also very pleasantly surprised that it was super clean and there was no graphite under. And then when I erased the 0.9, it also just left minimal graphite and practically no streaks. And when I erased everything, it was just in awe the way that this eraser cleaned up and left everything nice and clean and flawless. This one is definitely one of my favorites. The only bad side is that it is white. But I think I could look over that since this eraser is just so great at cleaning up any lead. Next up, we have this Prismacolor Kneaded Eraser. This one is actually a art eraser. It's not really meant for like note taking or, or something like that. It was kind of hard to open because it isn't a solid rubber eraser. This one is kind of like, I would say a mix of clay and slime maybe, but it is a lot harder to knead than I remember it to be. This one I was going to put up on the test because it came with the samples, but I remembered that this one doesn't actually erase and it's more to pick up lead. So when artists need to line up a spot that they shaded into dark, that is supposed to help pick up any lead that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place this really won't count because it doesn't erase it more picks up lead and then the next one is this tombow mono stick eraser it is just like the block except it comes in a little barrel that acts as a pen i love this one because it erases small mistakes if you guys saw my what's in my pencil case video i showed this because i had to do a lot of sketching last semester so this one came in clutch so much and i love this one it is great it is amazing but because i completely forgot about this eraser it won't be able to qualify because i had already made the list before i added this one so it'll just be an honorable mention as well as a prismacolor needed eraser 
So now this is the final. In first place is the boxy eraser. This is because it is slim, it's black, and it erases so well. It was so soft, and it didn't leave a lot of dusting. The Tombow Mono Eraser is a second place because it works just like the boxy, except it's white. It's just a small deduction, but second place is still really high. And third place is Muji because it is black, and it erases so well. It doesn't leave much dusting, and it is big. But if you want a small one, then you can get a small one as well on Muji. And in fourth place is this Arch Eraser. This one is also really good. The only downside is that it is white. But if I get that black one, then it may not be in fourth place. I also wanted to mention that they aren't bad. None of these erasers were bad. They all erased really well. It's just that some of them are a little bit better because they feel softer on paper. And also because my color preference. Then we have the pencil black eraser because although it wasn't erasing well, it is for me personally a lot better than the foam or the campus one too because they're white. And also there was nothing really exciting about them. And I decided to put the foam and campus eraser tied for last place. And then the honorable mentions are, of course, my Tombow Mono Stick and the Prismacolor Needed Eraser because the Needed Eraser doesn't count since it mostly picks up blood instead of erasing. And a Tombow Mono Stick, I kind of forgot, but it's also exactly the same as the block. And so it would pretty much be on the same place. This was my eraser review. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. Appreciate it. See you guys on the next one. Bye.